Hey guys, how's it going everybody? My name is Bloodswing Iron, ladies and gents. Welcome on back to a brand new LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. And today we're going to be working on adding Black Widow, or more importantly, the Avengers Infinity War version of Black Widow into the video game and hoping a good job with that. So of course, if you're asking me like, uh, Blitz, are you crazy? You're literally playing as Black Widow right now. Well, yeah, that's why I clarified that it would be the Avengers Infinity War version of Black Widow, because this version obviously looks pretty great for the Avengers Age of Ultron, or even prior to that, a pretty good variation of her. But, of course, we know that she has a completely different hair color going into uh, Avengers Infinity War, and a very different outfit, which is going to be probably quite difficult to nail down, but we're certainly still going to give it a try. Now, of course, like always, guys, don't forget if there are any other specific characters that you would like to see done up from Avengers Infinity War that we did not get as part of the DLC, because, of course, we did get a DLC pack for Avengers Infinity War and included the Black Order and Thanos, so that's them there. Then we did get a couple of hero characters, one of which was Teenage Groot and the Hulkbuster, and then we also did get Super Giant. But outside of that, we did not get any other characters so we're gonna try to add them to the game ourselves and uh, hopefully we can nail it down now i know the most popular request was spider-man or iron spider so uh yeah uh, hopefully i will be able to get to that one soon ish i have begun thinking of how to do that and i have no idea how i'm going to do that without modding the game so I might have to do it on PC and mod the game to make it look actually decent. Uh, but I guess time will tell. So just give me some time and I'll figure out a way to hopefully do a decent job with that one. So of course, last time, by the way, we did create Steve Rogers and he turned out sweet. I'm really, really happy with the way that that character turned out. So today we're going to go on ahead and once again attempt to create Black Widow, which will be hopefully a whole lot of fun. So of course, the first thing we're going to do, the first course of action is to actually go on ahead and change the name from, um, what is it called? Uh, oh my goodness, why am I forgetting? Um, from Deadpool to Black Widow. Also guys, don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, you guys supported the Infinity War Steve Rogers video tremendously well. So again, if you like this one, hit that like button. I'll try to get more of these up for you guys quicker because I think you guys um, have been supporting them quite well. So I'm gonna try to do my best to actually bring you guys more of these. All right, so we're gonna look at abilities and passive traits at the end, but for now, let's go on ahead and head to the appearance side of things and begin working there. So, the first thing we're gonna do, and again, I could use the minifigure that uh, they have released for Infinity War, which has this hair piece, and we could just go on ahead and use that, uh, obviously with the blonde hair. Hmm, you know what? I think that, honestly, like, the design that they use oftentimes, it, and even the release, I think there was a little bit more yellow, but I feel like in the movies, it wasn't really yellow yellow, it was kind of, like, really light blonde, so I feel like this color works far, far better, so that's what we're gonna go with there. Alright, so we've got our hair figured out, uh, I'm just gonna scroll through to see if there's anything better that would work, but I think this one works fine. Alright, so... Uh, now, for the face, obviously, we can just use the same face, so I think that it's available. I'm just gonna double check, but hopefully it is, because now this would be awkward if I'm like, ah, uh, okay, I don't know what we're gonna do here. There we go. So we got the regular Black Widow head, so that's excellent. And then, like with the, the Steve Rogers or Captain America design, we're gonna start with the easy stuff, such as recoloring the arms and the hands, because we know what colors those need to be, and that stuff is pretty easy to nail down. So we're just going to go on ahead and change that up all to black, because of course, Black Widow. But oddly enough, of course, for the Avengers Infinity War, she actually changes up her outfit and she has this like light green jacket. So we're going to try to emulate something along those lines. Now, I feel like what we need to do for the legs is something that has more pouches and stuff like that. Because I know a lot of people just basically go like, hey, let's just give her the exact same Black Widow outfit, just change the hair, done. But to me, first of all, that's a little lazy. And second of all, I feel like we could do better than that just by using our creativity a little bit here and using some of the pieces and parts that were available to us. So we're going to try to go on ahead. I kind of like this one just because it has all those buckles and everything. So the Gamora design works really nicely. The Hawkeye design works even nicer because it's a little bit darker, the shade. So I think that that's what we're going to go with. Plus, it's a nice little tip of the cap. You know, Hawkeye and Black Widow were both on the same team somewhat um, in the first Avengers 
So it's kind of cool to go on ahead and uh, have that little moment there. All right, so we've got everything figured out, guys. We're done. No, I'm joking. Of course, we've got to change the torso. Ooh, okay, so this is the tough, really, really tough part, I should say, to nail this down. Because, of course, we could, again, go to this, and there you go. We've got the Black Widow torso, and that's, again, would be kind of lazy to do that. Now, the outfit that she actually wears is somewhat of a... It's almost like a military vest, I would call it, kind of, style thing. So that's what we're going to try to look for. The problem is, I don't even think that that color exists in this game. Honestly, the color of her vest is like that tie right there. It's that, like, light-ish green, you know? So if there is anything like that, I guess it's kind of like an olive color. Gosh, I'm getting fancy with my colors, bro. I'm getting all fancy. It's like peach orange, uh, olive green, you know? those people that try to sell you paints at the store you're like what what does that mean i don't know what olives look like can i just see the color please can you just not verbally describe it to me they are like it's very elegant and you're like i don't know what that means let me just see the color or maybe that's just me all right so we're gonna scroll through first and foremost just kind of take a look at what is here and then from there we're gonna be able to start making some decisions once we have an idea of what's there that's far far too green and of course the wrong look Again, I so wish that we could recolor stuff. Like, even if we could just take this Proxima Midnight outfit, color that green, it would look pretty decent, honestly. You know, but unfortunately, we can't recolor torsos. We're kind of stuck with what is here. Whoa, dude, I didn't even notice this. This is such a cool torso piece, the Silvermane one. Dang, we gotta figure out a character to do design with that, because that would look sweet. I think we would do a very, very good job with that. All right, so... Hmm. Okay, I, I kind of got intrigued for a second by this, because, like, that's kind of an interesting color. Like, maybe we could make that work, but uh, it's it's a bit unfortunate, but, again, it's just a tiny little bit off uh, as far as shading and all that is concerned. And by tiny little bit, I mean a whole lot. Ooh, dude, that's, like, the exact correct color. Like, that is the color that she has, but obviously this is the completely wrong print work. So that really stinks, but... I, I might have to go with that one just on the basis that that's the best that we can do color-wise. So we would kind of sacrifice the look a little bit for the right color, which I think will work. Because, again, we could just get lazy with it and pick the uh, Black Widow torso or something a little bit more, like, accurate in design. But I feel like this would be kind of cool. You know what? We're going to go with it. We're going to try to make this work just because I feel like the colors work. So we're going to try to make that work. All right, so that's the appearance stuff. Now, we're gonna need to go on ahead and go into the weapons. And, oh, good googly moogly. All right, I think I'm gonna have to give her the big staff because I don't think we could give her small staff. Now, ooh, we could go cool with it and give her some blasters, but of course, if you've seen the film, you know that she doesn't use guns. In the movie, she uses like these batons. So, Ideally, it would be cool if we could give her two batons, but I don't think that that's available in here. Yeah. Oh, man. That sort of stinks. Actually, I've never tried this. If you do this, can you change? Oh, you can't, right? Yeah, because with guns, you see, like, if you pick one, you, you could then uh, decide the gun position, so you could give her two, and she could dual wield them. Unfortunately, in here, you don't get that option. Uh, maybe it's under swords? No. It's kind of odd that they don't just give you Black Widow's actual tool set. But I guess we could go with the staff. You know what? No, let's go. Let's go. We're, we're, go we're gonna go futuristic blasters then. We gotta go cool. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go dual wielding. And we're gonna go... Ah, man, I can't decide because you see, part of me goes like... Yeah, let's just go with that. But then again, that would be inaccurate, right? That would be we would be going with the incorrect assignment of her character. So, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, that's really tough. That is really super duper tough. I mean, I do know that she even in the movie she has a staff at one point where it's just one staff together. So, and then she splits them apart. So you know what? That's what we're gonna go with. Then. We're gonna go with the staff just because we're trying to be somewhat accurate. So we're gonna go with that staff, we're gonna recolor it. We could actually make it blue so that it kind of is like the electric uh, sticks that she uses, right? Or of course it could keep it nice and gray, which would be somewhat accurate, more accurate. But I think 
I'm gonna go with blue for kind of like an electric staff. Yeah, like that. That'll be cool. All right, so. Now, abilities-wise, again, this is all always up to you because you can go completely bananas and, you know, add an insane amount of power-ups. So I'm not going to add, obviously, certain specific ones, but ones that I would consider is probably, like, tracking, dig. Those would be ones that I would consider. Uh, fix it, vine cut. Yes, I think those would be great. Uh, gra uh, yeah, I think I would use grapple. Then wall climbing, uh, probably not. Techno access, though, I would give her, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, so those would be probably the ones that I would stick to there. Now, tap, we're just going to be fighting. Hold is going to be a lunge, which is perfectly fine. Then over here, we're going to do a tap, of course, stealth, because she has been trained in the stealthy ways. And then boomerang to throw the staff, so that'll be cool. Double tap for double jump, which is excellent. And we're going to remove the hyper jump, because obviously she does not have those crazy types of superpowers. Now, for the health icon, Black Widow, we got to go with the black heart there which I think would fit, of course, standard health type. Uh, voices, you can choose any of the bottom three. Those are all the female voices, and then the male voices are up here. So that's up to you. Movement speed, just fast, because obviously she's not like a speedster type character. The black and gold here, I feel like, works very well for her. And with that all being said, ladies and gents, that allows us to have now completed our design of Black Widow. So let's see the character out there. Uh, in... I guess let's go to Egypt again. Why not? And here is our fantastically like epic design of like Black Widow. Stuff, huh? So let me know what you guys think of the Black Widow Infinity War inspired costume. I think we did a pretty good job. Again, obviously, the torso would have been nice if we could have recolored some other torsos to make them look a little bit more accurate. But I will say that ultimately, I still am very, very, very happy with the way that it looks just because the colors, especially from far away, works really nice and it creates a really good look for Black Widow. But let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What would you have changed yourselves? Don't forget to tweet me and Instagram your ideas. And down in the comment section below, let me know what other characters from Infinity War you would like to see created in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Maybe Thor's next? Maybe Spidey's next? Hmm, I wonder. Let me know down in the comment section below.